Hello and welcome. Today we'll be talking about the anatomy of a Japanese candlestick. Most of us will be hearing about candlestick. Candlestick, it is the most popular price action in many charting tools applications. That's what a lot of traders use. And even new beginners, when they introduce them to trading, they just tell them that, okay, this is candlestick, this is what you use. They don't know that there are other different ways to read price actions and they don't know how to read the candlestick properly. They just go into trading and thinking that, okay, when I see a green candle, I'll buy. When I see a red candle, I'll buy. And most people start doing things wrongly. Candlestick, it originated from a place called Japan. And that is why most people call it Japanese candlestick. That is what Japan stock market and rice traders, what they, that's what, what they used. You know, before it enters into that, different markets, trading markets like stock market and commodities and all other things like that. It is very popular and it is unique and it is the most accurate tool for price action. Today we'll be introducing us to how we can use candlestick in the right way, how to use candlestick, how the anatomy, what it means when you see a green candlestick, what type of green candlestick can you see? When you see red candlestick, what 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 type of red candlestick does it mean? And the way these things affected the market or the way the market is being affected by this different formation of um of this candlestick. So let's get started now. So when we see candlestick, when we enter different charting tools like trading view, which is the most popular, we'll see something like this. We'll see green candle and we'll see red candle. Well, it depends on your settings actually. You can change the color, you can change the background and everything like that. But mostly I like using this red and green. It is the most popular. There's also another popular color combination that we have, which is the black and white. So when you see a green candlestick, it means a bullish candle. The meaning of bullish is that the it, it means a buying candle. People are buying the pair you, you are looking at. And when you see a bear, a red candle, it means a bearish candle. That means people are selling the pair of commodity you are looking at. The reason why it is actually called a candle is that it has a body and which this line under the green candle, this line at the top and above the candle is what we call weak or shadow or some people they call it thin. this long thin here is what we call the body of the candle so it's the same for the bearish candle too let's take a look at how does it, how these candles really form so if you have a green candle So what this is telling us is that these candles open at this particular point here now. When it opens at this particular point, this is the low, this is the close, and this is the high. What the candle is trying to tell us now is that price, when this candle open, it open, let's assume that this is $2, it open around $2, so it came down to around 1.8 dollar and start going up from there again till it comes to something around let's say this is 2.9 dollar till it closes around here which is let's say something like 2. Point, let's say 2.3 dollar so it closes around 2.3 dollar so what is actually happening is that when the candles open it opens let's draw the way the graph will look like when the candles open it opens like this and it comes down like this and start going up, going up, going up, going up, going up till you reach the high and it comes down again to something like this. So that is the price movement for that period. It might be one hour, it might be two hours, it might be, it might be five minutes, it might be 15 minutes, it might be 30 minutes. So for that particular period of time that this candle formed, this is what actually happened in the formation. So when it opens at $2, it came down to 1.8 and start going up again till it gets to this is 2.3 here yeah? till it gets to 2.9 and it comes down again and it closed around 2.3 so 
So if this is a 15 minute candle, everything that we have analyzed here happened in fifth, within 15 minutes. So if this is a 30 minute candle, everything that we have analyzed there happened within 30 minutes. So a single candle denotes the time period we are looking at. So if we are looking at this graph now, at this candle now in a one day time frame. So that means when the day started, this candle opened at two dollar. It came down to one point eight dollar and it started going up till it reached two point nine dollar and came down to close at two point three dollar. So this is for a green candle for a bullish formation. So let's take an example of a bearish formation now. So if we have a red candle now, so what this is trying to tell us now. So what this is trying to tell us in a red candle now, the red candle is opposite of the green candle. The things that are just constant here is the low and high, as always. This particular point now is the high, and this particular point is the low. So this place now is where the candle closed. And this place is where the candle opened. So what this is now telling us is that, for example, now, let's say if this price is at 2.5, when the candle opened, it went up to like, let's say 2.7 and it started coming down, coming down till it reached somewhere around this point here, which is, let's say 2.1 and it comes up again to Let's say somewhere around this place, which is 2.3. So what this is trying to tell us is that when this candle opened, because it is a bearish candle, that means the price is going down. So when this candle opened, it, it opened at this point, 2.5. It opened at 2.5. It went up to 2.7 and it started coming down, coming down, coming down till it reached 2.1. As again, it went up and closed in 2.3. So for... Any time frame we are looking at now, let's say this time frame is 15 minutes time frame now. So that means everything here that we have uh, um, illustrated in this card, everything here happened within 15 minutes. This price movement happened in, within 15 minutes. As you can see, the bearish candle is the opposite of the bull, bullish candle. So this candle here is called a bearish candle. Why this is called a bullish candle? So, we will give us an explanation and we will give, an, we will give us an illustration on how it looks like in, in an actual chatting platform. So, now a bullish candle can form in many ways. So, for example, now if I have a bullish candle, it might look like this. So what this is trying to tell us is that in this candle now, there's no weak, there's no, we don't have a weak here now. So what this is trying to tell us is that this particular point is the high and the close. Why this particular point is the low and the open. So you can also have another candle, another bullish candle that looks like this. So just like the one we have explained before. This is the high, this is the close, this is the open, and this is the low. So sometimes all this thing is being abbreviated as H C O L, high, close, low, and open. You can have something like this. So, which means that this is our high, this is our close. And this is our open, and this is our also our low. So the same thing again, we can have the opposite of this, something like this. So we can also have something like this. Why we can also have something like this. So there are different formation of candles we can have. We can have something like this.
So a lot of formations we can have. So we can also have something like this. We can have something like this. And we can also have something like this. So we'll be explaining to us what all these things mean. So as we have, have as we have it in green candles, as all these are, all these things are formed in green candle, we can also have all these things formed in a red candle. So what we need to know is that the formation of a candle is actually telling us what is happening in the market. So if you have a candle like this. So this is telling us that it is a strong bullish candle. It, we might also have something like this with no weak at all. So it's also the same explanation as this that, but this is more bullish than this. So in this case, what it's trying to tell us is that the price is never declined below the open. And in, if it is a red candle, the same analogy, if it is a red candle, what it's trying to tell us is that the price is never trade below the open if it is a red candle. Candle formation is what gives us the selling pressure in the market to let us know where the pressure is coming from. The way all these candles are formed actually, if a red candle is going to be formed or if a green candle is going to be formed, we have to understand how it is formed. Let's say, let's give us an analogy how a candle is formed actually. To start with now, let's say we have two people now, this side at the positive side, side A, this side B here now at the negative side, that is the people that are selling in the market. They are in a tug of war. So they are in a tug of war with a flag at the middle now. So if these people now, if they drag this flag, to themselves, if the point A drag the flag to themselves, they are the one winning, they are dragging the flag to themselves, so they are the one winning, and the point B are losing. So a green candle will be formed. So if it is the B, if at the end of the let's say, for example, now this competition is to last for 15 minutes now. So if at the, at, at the end of 15 minutes, you are going to measure which side has the flag more. Which side have the flag at their side by the end of 15 minutes? If the flag falls to the side A side to, to the side of this party A now, they are the one winning. So a green candle will be formed. And if it this flag goes to the side of this side B now, that means a bearish candle will be formed. It is the side B that are winning. So let's give us an analogy the way it will look in a candle. So what this candle is trying to tell us is that the price we, we notice that this is the we know that this is the low, this is the open, this is the close, and this is the high. So what this is trying to tell us is that when the candle opened at this particular point, it went down. The 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 sellers the sellers came and pushed it down to this particular point here, which is the low. So the candle picked up again, the price picked up again and started going up, going up, going up till it reached this particular point here now. So again, the sellers came into the market and start pushing the price down, pushing the price down. This is where they could push the price to. Let's say, for example, now this price was recorded within 15 minutes. So this is where they could push the price to within that 15 minutes. So if they were able to push it down for that, they could change this candle to green. Because this close now will not be, it will not be under the low, it will be under the low, which will turn it into a red candle. So what this is trying to tell us is that at this particular point here, the sellers are pressurizing the market. At this particular point here, the sellers are pressurizing the market. This type of candle now always denotes a reversal that, and it's also first what it's trying to tell us is that pay attention to the market there's a potential reversal in the market notice i said potential reversal in the market so we can also have another candle which is opposite of this so something like this 
So what this is trying to tell us is that we know that the this is the open, this is the close, this is the high, and this is the low. So what this is trying to tell us is that when this can do, when it opens at, the part, at this particular point here now, it got to this high and the sellers came into the market and pushed it down to this particular point, which is the low. So again, this buyer did not allow the seller to overwhelm them. They started pushing the candle up again, the price up again. They started buying the price. They started buying, buying. And like we said before, if this is a 15-minute candle. So they started buying for the period of that 15 minutes, they won the battle. So at this particular point now, what we know here is that there's a buying pressure at this particular point here. So the buyers are in control here now. So all these things are very, very important for us to take note of. If it is a red candle, it's still giving us the same information. But what it's telling, trying to tell us here is not now is that the sellers were succeeded here now. They succeeded with their action here now. If it is also the opposite of it, what this is telling us is that it is the buyers now that is pressurizing the market, but they could not overwhelm the seller. So that's why the candle still remain red. So all these things are potential reversal in the market. So there are many type of candle formation now that traders watch out for and uh, mostly they, they tend to they are popular because they tend to reverse the market and also give signals for probably buying and selling because candle formation is a leading signal it is when you see it you you have to it is an it is a signal that is telling you that okay the price is moving in this direction you just need to wait for confirmation to know actually if that's where the price is going to and there are many candle formation or candle patterns that, that a lot of traders use but we'll only be talking about few of them so let's get started now the ones we'll be talking about now is the doji candle this candle is called the doji candle this candle is called the doji candle it is of four types of formation now so the first one is called the doji or sometimes they call it the plus the doji plus or the plus sign whatever you want to call it so what you need to pay attention to that here in this doji is that the weak are almost of equal length like it's almost like the upper and the lower weak are almost of equal length and what this the, what the doji is always trying to tell us is that the open and the close are almost the same thing if you notice that is either there is nobody or very little body in the candle the candle will all either be of low body or very little body so we also have the long leg doji which look like an insert still follow the same principle of this one the open and the close are almost the same thing and the wick are very very long this one is called the dragonfly doji Probably because it looked like a dragon. That's why it's called the dra dragon fly doji. The last one that I'll be talking about here is the gravestone doji, which is opposite of the dragon fly doji. They are all an indication that the market is probably trying to reverse now. Let's take, for example, the way they look in the chart. So if you look at this chart now, so this is a doji here. This is a doji. This is a doji. This is another one. This is another one. This is another one. This is another one. And this is another one. So, according to what we have explained earlier, if you look at this one very well, we cannot consider this as a long leg doji because weak at the top, the candle weak at the top is not as long as the one below. So, we can just consider this as dragon fly. So what you what you should pay attention to is that it is not always as appeared in the textbooks. That's why it will always appear in the chart. Sometimes you see some little differences from what you have seen in the textbooks. So what you just need to know is the concept of behind the candle. So when you see one, you'll be able to identify them. So it will not always appear the way it is it has appeared in the textbook.
So this one now, this is the plus doji. And this one, this is exactly the way it appeared in the test with a dragonfly. Another one again, the dragonfly. So we can at least place this one as a long leg doji. And this will put it as gravestone. So what each of these doji, actually what doji is telling us generally is that there's an indecision in the market. You have to wait for a confirmation before you enter the market. So for this one now, the plus doji, that's the first one we talked about. So for the plus doji, it can be a bullish or bearish signal depending on where it appears so if you look at it now when this appeared the market dropped a bit and these two doji appeared after each other again before the market start moving up so you have to wait for confirmation like i said before you don't it, it, it's not immediately it formed that you jump into the market and start looking to go bullish or bearish you have to wait for confirmation because the market is not sure of where it wants to go the market is indecisive so the next one we want to we talked about again that is the gravestone doji. This gravestone doji that is here now, it is considered a bearish reversal candle. So when it forms in an uptrend or in a resistant level. So if you look at it now, it is considered as a, as a bearish reversal candle. So when it formed, if you look at it now, the market is the sellers are trying to come in into the market, but when this formed again, the market starts going up. So you have to wait for confirmation all the time before you follow the signal. You have to wait for confirmation. So all these confirmation are added together before you look at it. That, okay, this trend is actually going up or this trend is coming down or this trend is just ranging. So the next one now, the dragonfly doji now. This one that is here now, the dragonfly doji. It is considered as a bullish candle when it is forming in a downtrend or in a support level. So if you look at it now, the market is actually coming down and this formed and started going up again. Again, you should wait for confirmation before you follow the signal. So each of these candles now, they still, they, they said different thing. Again, you see it here now. This is the dragonfly again. The candle is actually trending down and down. And when it appeared, it looks like it is a bullish reversal, but again, the market start coming down again. So that's why I said you should always wait for a confirmation before you place your position, whether you are going long or short. So the long length doji now, it is the one that is showing the indecision the most. When it is formed, it is the one that is showing the indecision the most when it is formed. So it cannot actually be considered as a bullish reversal or bearish reversal. It can be any of the two. So you have to wait for confirmation before you would go into it or most of the time i just say you should wait for the next three candles and see what will happen so if you look at it now we have the long leg doji here we have something that looks like it again around here again you see now that the market has not really gone anywhere before it comes down again and start moving up again so all these doji candles are majorly they signify that there's indecision in the market and the market is trying to reverse but doesn't know where to reverse to now. So you too, you just pay attention so as not to join the wrong direction. So the next one we'll be talking about here, the next candle we'll be talking about is what we'll call the hammer candle. So if you look at it, it looks like an armor. When it forms, it can either be bullish or bearish. So it's also a signal that the market is trying to reverse. Um, most of the time or even majority of the traders out, out there, this is what they look for because this one is trying to tell us that, okay, if you see this, the market is going to reverse and it is a sure signal that the market will reverse. So when you see this now, it is a bullish reversal signal majority of the time. So especially when it forms in a downtrend or support area. It is an important signal that the market is going to reverse and it is a bullish reversal so you should be ready to go long so and also it, it could also be a red candle 
And what is also telling us is that the market is going to reverse. So this one now, it is a bearish reverse. And you should be ready to go short when you see something like this, especially at the top of a trend or at the bottom of a trend. Anywhere you see it, you should just be waiting for confirmation to know whether you should go long or short. So it could either be green or red, depending on where you find it. So let's take an example and check out on the chart. This is an example of a hammer now. So at this point now, if you look at it now, this is at the end of a trend. So it's looking like the signal is going to, the, the trend is going to reverse. But if you look at it again, after some time, the candle became green and after some time, it started coming down again. So again, it is here at the top of a trend again. So if you look at it now, after some time, the market is reversing again. So the hammer is also a reversal signal. So you have to just be patient and wait for which direction it is going because most of the time it is not sure whether the candle is green, whether the candle is red. You can't really say because the candle is green, it is going to be a bullish reversal because the candle is red, it is going to be a bearish reversal. So you have to just pay attention and know what is going on in the market to know where the candle is going to. So the next one we'll be talking about here is the shooting star. So the shooting star is the opposite of the armor candle we just discussed. Just the opposite of the armor candle we discussed. If you see it, it's also a reversal signal, whether bullish or bearish. It could either be red or green, depending on where it formed. So this one now, what it's trying to tell us is that this one is also one of the most reliable candlestick you, you can see out there. When it is forming an up tra upward trend, it, it, it is considered to be a bearish reversal pattern. And so you should be looking to sell when you see this in an upward trend. Whether the color is green or red, like I also used to tell us that we should pay attention to, you should wait for confirmation before you pick the direction you are going to. So let's look at an example of this one in the graph. We have a shooting star around here now. As you can see, this is in an upward trend. The market has been trending upward. It has been trending upward. And when it gets to this pos po particular position now, it starts coming down. So notice that we have a doji here. If you start combining all these candles together, you start seeing a pattern and start knowing, okay, this is where the market is going to, or the market is going to move the decision you are to make next. So you start to know the reaction of the buyers and sellers and know which one to join. So if you look at it here now, the market is trending up and we have a doji candle, which signifies an indecision in the market, the, 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 Sellers have come into the market and the buyers are also there. So at the long run, the buyers are not sure. The buyers have not won the, the battles and the sellers have not won the battles. So there's an indecision. So it's looking like the buyers, came, the sellers came in again and started pushing the market down until we have this shooting star, which now indicates that the market is actually going down. So when we saw this now, the market started trending down and down till somewhere around there that looks like it is trying to go up again and it came down again and down it goes. So you have to pay attention to every candle that you are seeing. So because it is a shooting star now and you have seen it here, doesn't mean that the market is reversing any soon. But like I told you, you have to wait for confirmation. So if you look at it again, we have it somewhere around here, the shooting star. We have it somewhere around here. It is also followed by AMA. Now, if you look at it now, the market still went on in the uptrend before it looked like there's a reversal around here so because you have seen this shooting star in this uptrend now doesn't mean that the market is reversing instantly you have to wait for a confirmation before you know that okay this market is reversing instantly because this is a 30 minute candle of bnb so imagine that you have picked reversal signal at this point now and you just picked it if you are not somebody that is patient enough or you don't know, you don't have a particular time frame you are, you are trading, you just look at it, you just saw that, okay, I've seen it here now. So that, that means that the market is reversing. So you pick it. This is another 30 minutes, one hour, one hour, 30 minutes, two hours. Before we have a reversal here, two and a half hours, 
three hours to this place four hours before it start actually coming down so you might have panicked that probably the market is going up again especially when you are when this amakandu appears again you might look, look at it that okay probably i've taken the wrong decision so you have to always wait for a confirmation before you would pick the position you are going for so we have come to the end of this discussion now we won't go further than this. Those are just the basic candle for pattern that we can actually so show us. There are other many candle patterns, but they are beyond the scope of this lecture. So we would, in the future, we'll be producing more videos on candle patterns. And what we are seeing at the bottom of our chart here, all these things we are seeing at the bottom of our chart here are things we call volume. So there's a way you match your candle patterns with the volume. The, we call it volume price action vpa that will actually tell you that okay the candle you are seeing is it actually the right thing you that you are meant to see or the market makers are trying to play on your intelligence so as this candle that you have seen now is it actually a true dragonfly or is it actually a true shooting star It is the volume that will tell you that okay this is actually what it is and the next confirmation you have after the candle by also comparing it to the volume of the previous one so all these things are beyond the scope of this lecture for now this lecture is just an introductory lecture into the way candlesticks are formed and their anatomy so see you in the next lecture and don't forget to subscribe and click on your bell notification icon for more videos to come in thank you